I thought I'd show you my office today. So I've mentioned before, I'm down here in the first uh, first floor of the legislative building. That's the one with the dome on top. So just wanted to introduce you to my legislative assistant, Ashley. So if you come down to visit, she's the first person you'll see. And if you can uh, call her on the phone, she's always happy to help and um, refer things to the appropriate people. So come on in. So this is my office. I don't actually spend a whole lot of time here. Um, but when I have a, a few minutes, I come in and uh, check, on, check my mail and try to catch up on things. And uh, sometimes I have a series of 15 minute appointments back to back. Um, and so I decorated it with some things that I brought from home. I've got uh, some, I got a tribute to our soldiers here and a, a farewell Mr. President from Reagan's funeral that my husband happened to be able to attend. Uh, I've got some tributes here to uh, our founding documents, which are very important to me. Of course, I swore to uphold our state and federal constitutions. So these are a constant reminder of um, my duty to you. And uh, over here, I have a map of our district, the 39th district. Uh, and this map doesn't really show how large the 39th really is, but it's most of Snohomish County, most of Skagit. I-5 is borders a little bit of it right here, and then Highway 9 is, is right here. And so here's Skagit County, here's Snohomish County, and we've got this little piece of King County here uh, down in the Skykomish area. And then this border is the top of the mountains. And uh, what else do I have? I've got a couple pictures from home, pictures of my uh, husband and kids, and that, that particular picture also includes my parents who were here for my swearing in on January 14th of this year. So this is what a freshman's office looks like, and lest you be horrified at the coffee maker in the corner, I want to tell you a quick story. When I first got down here, I was horrified to find out about the number of people who buy Keurig coffee makers with your money. <laughs> And I just couldn't do it, so I spent my Christmas money getting my Keurig coffee maker. So uh, I hope that gives you a little introduction, and I know a lot of you live a long way from here, so you might never uh, have the opportunity to come down and see, but uh, I hope this gives you a little, a little window into what a uh, day in the life of Elizabeth Scott looks like, and I hope you can come down and visit. Thank you.